So, I have with me here a very powerful apple seed. <laughs> very powerful. So, let's imagine that um, someone treated this seed and um, they told me that the seed has the potential of yielding a country load of apple. You know apple, right? Apple fruit. Now, so I, I go around with this seed. I walk around with it. I have faith, right, that this seed is powerful. So everywhere I go, I go with the seed. I don't do anything with the seed. I just romance the seed. I pray on the seed and I don't do anything. Now, we both know that with how powerful this seed is, it's not going to yield anything in my hand. The seed was meant for the ground. So if I plant it to the ground and ensure that it is properly planted, over time, what happens is that this seed begins to yield maybe thousands, maybe millions of fruits like this. So many of us have the word of God in our head. The Bible calls the word of God a seed. It says we were born by the incorruptible seed which is the word of God. Now, many of us have the word of God in our hands, but won't plant it in our heart, right? And we're wondering why I know the word, I know the Bible says, by, the, by stripes I'm healed, but do you believe it? Jesus said, he said, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, your heart is where the word of God yields, not your head, not in your Bible, not on your phone, not on your iPad, not on your system. So many a times all we do is we just have these things in our hands, we have it on our phones, we have it in our pastor's sermons, but we don't have it here. And as long as it's not here, it's not going to yield this. All you would have would be a seed that has the potential of being a blessing to you, but never would. So you have the seed of God's word in your heart. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 says, the book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but you shall meditate upon it day and night. The word meditate means to regurgitate it, to agar it, to mutter it. That's how you plant the seed of God's word in your heart. So if you're believing God for something, you know the word. The, the problem is not your knowing the word. Your problem is not even the word because the word has the potential to give, to yield what it has promised to. The problem is you've not planted it in your heart yet. And for as long as the seed is in your hand, if it's not planted in the ground, it won't yield the fruit that you desire. So take that seed off your hand, take that seed off your head, take that seed off your pastor's sermon, take that seed off your Bible imprint, take that seed off your iPad, off your phone, plant it here and make sure the environment here is healthy for it to yield because the seed might have the potential to yield, but if the ground is not fertile, it's not going to do anything. God bless you.